everybody, welcome to my home. My name is Becky and I am so excited that you're here today. Well, today we are decorating for Christmas. We are finally, finally gonna actually put some decorations out. Um, I got the trees up. If you didn't see my last video, I got all the trees up and all the garland up and all the lights up. So now I've got my base ready. All I've gotta do is just put the tinsel on and that's where I shine. That's what I have been looking forward to for so many months since I started this channel. Um, that Christmas and Halloween was is kind of where I shine. Those are my two big holidays that I decorate for. I've got everything pulled out in my living room. I'm gonna take the camera and just kind of pan around real quick. I think today I'm gonna start with the big tree. I'm going to break the videos up into small little segments so that I can put out more content, like maybe two videos a week. That's that's my goal, the way that I did for Halloween. Um, no promises, but that's my goal. Um, so I'm gonna do small little sections of the house at a time, and then at the end, we'll do a full house tour. But let's start with a, kind of a view of everything that I have to work for, with, and then I'm gonna show you, I think we're gonna start on the tree. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Here is what we have to work with. This is box of pillows. That's one of the trees we are decorating. These two boxes are for my village. And then the rest is just decor, decor, decor. <laughs> just And a little more decor. <laughs> lots. It's never ending. Lots to look at. Um, boxes of dishes. Of course, you know me. I'm going to have boxes and boxes of dishes. And Yep, this is it. This is what we're working with. These boxes over here are all of the vintage ornaments that I made in uh, previous videos. If you didn't see those, we made that. We handmade all of those on the top. And then just decorations. This is the big tree. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's about seven and a half feet, but this tree is wide. It's not that tall. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I believe it to be about seven and a half feet. So even though it's not that tall, it is definitely wide and it takes up every inch of space that I have to offer over here. <laughs> um, this cabinet over here with all of my amber glass collection, all of the amber glass is going to get packed away very carefully and that will be three shelves of my Christmas village. And then I'm going to turn the camera around here and I've got more behind me. Don't look in my bedroom. I haven't made my bed and um, there's more behind me. So, this is what we have to work with, you guys. We've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> so let's get started. I think we're going to come over here. I'm going to try to sort through all of this, and we're going to decorate this, this tree. So the very first thing that I add to my trees, whether it be a Christmas tree, an Easter tree, a Halloween tree, it doesn't matter, I add filler. And in during um, Christmas, I like to use eucalyptus. And I don't know why. I can't tell you why. I just probably because that was the greenery that I had available at the time. Um, I pick up a little bit each year. I don't have a ton of it that I put in there, but I like to um, to just add this in just for another, a different texture in the tree. Um, I did pick up some new pieces this year that are different, I think it was in the spring, it was on sale. Um, they're just different colors, but it's all eucalyptus. I also have eucalyptus over my mantle, so it's all gonna kinda tie together. Um, I'm gonna use it in this other little tree over here as well. So I don't have a lot of it. I try to pick up a little bit at a time, and sooner or later I'll have a lot and I'll have enough, but it's kind of expensive to go buy a bunch <laughs> at one time. So we just kinda add it as we get it, and it's all different um, types. I've got some like this that I've, I'll use. So it's not exactly matchy-matchy. Um, they're, they're all just a little different, but in my opinion, it looks fine. It looks good. So I'm going to add this uh, these few sprigs of eucalyptus to the tree first. Bye. 
Now I do have a lot of a lot more picks that I want to add to the tree. I've got a couple different ones that I'm going to add. But before I do that, I think what I want to do is I want to put my ribbon on the tree. Um, I get my ribbon. My ribbon came from the Dollar General, and I'll show it to you. I got two more rolls this year because I want to try something different. It's five dollars a roll. The reason that I picked the one from Dollar General is because it's green and white plaid, and it's not there's no black in it. I don't use black in my decor. So a lot of the times when you find this tartan plaid ribbon, it's black and red, and that's just not the colors that I use. So I look for the green specifically. And um, it matches pretty closely. It's not exactly the same, but it's gonna be close enough. And um, I wanna try a technique that I've seen online. If you've ever heard, if you ever wanna know how to decorate a tree in the most glorious manner, look up Gina Loves Christmas. She can show you some of the most amazing Christmas trees you have ever laid your eyes on. Um, she's amazing. So she teaches you how to do um, single, double, and triple loop bows. And the way that it works is you just kind of, um, let me grab a piece of ribbon and I'll show you. But you just kind of take your ribbon and you make your loop and then you turn your ribbon around and then that kind of flows into the tree. Now you can do this single, double, or triple. I think I'm gonna try some triple loops. Um, and then that way, cause I was looking at the pictures from last year and I felt like I needed a little more ribbon. Um, so I'm gonna try that, try something a little different, but other, and I'm also gonna add these shorter pieces and tuck them in the way that I normally do. So hopefully you'll be able to follow along with me with what I just explained and, um, and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, before I start, I wanna tell you this because I did leave this part out. Gina also tells you to use wire. Um, I just have this wire that I picked up. It's upside down. I think the, I don't know where I got it from because I broke off the part that tells you where it came from, but it's just floral wire. And um, that way you can kind of take it and wrap it around the branch. And it's not only easy to put up, but it's easy to take down as well. So I'm gonna try it for you real quick before I put it up. We're gonna do it together and then, then I'll go to town. But, so what you do is, let me set my wire down. I dropped it, okay, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. So you're gonna take a loop and you're gonna, I'm gonna do another loop. You just kinda hold on to it at the bottom. You're gonna get another loop. And Gina loves Christmas, if I'm doing this wrong, don't come at me. Don't come at me, girl. I love you. You're awesome. I'm just trying to duplicate the queen here. So, <laughs> so here's the third loop. And then you are going to wrap your wire around here. And then you're going to take your ribbon. So you're going to wrap that around the tree limb. And then it's just going to kind of tuck in from there. And then at the bottom, you will cut your ribbon with a pretty little... Um, I don't know what it's called, like zigzag. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, that's the idea. So that's what I'm going to do.
Okay, so I had to chuck it in there just a little bit deeper, but that's the way it looks. And that's the little tail on the ribbon that I'm trying to explain to you and I can't seem to find my words. Okay, so all of these ribbons that I put on here were done with two of those rolls of ribbon from the Dollar General. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is this ribbon that I had from last year, and I just kinda tuck it in. I'm gonna add a little bit more ribbon because, like I said, when I was looking at my tree last year, just kinda saying, well, what can I do different? How can I change it up? I felt like it needed more ribbon. Everything else I liked, but it was just, it just needed a little more ribbon. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding some ribbon. So we're gonna add this kind and then we should be ready to put our picks up. I want to break in for just a second and tell you my opinion on putting ribbon up like this when you're tucking it in and in and in like that um when you're at the top and the branches are tighter i use longer pieces because i can kind of tuck 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 but when you're at the bottom and the branches are further apart it looks weird when you've got a loop inside of a branch that's kind of open so i do use short the shorter pieces towards the bottom and then the larger pieces towards the top or the longer pieces towards the top if that makes sense it just works better for me it may not work that way for you but that's how i'm able to do it all right so here's what it looks like with all the ribbon put on there maybe too much i don't know once i get everything on there we'll kind of know more but i don't know i felt like it needed more ribbon Maybe this might not be for everybody, but I think it's gonna look pretty when it's all done. I wish I had that new ribbon as the tree topper because it's a more vibrant red for sure. But I'm not making another bow. <laughs> I'm not going out to buy more ribbon. This is what we got, guys. So the next thing I wanna add are some of the, the picks. Um, I've got these that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I use these for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So they're dual useful double useful whatever the word I don't know. they they're they're used for both so um i do like the red the red i know you've seen the red ones i have a red one hold on um here's what the red one looks like and i do like the red more but i just i use these for both so um i feel like that's a better deal for me they're originally 3.99 and then they're 60 percent off so you can do the math and I just stick those all over the tree.
The other pick that I use in my tree that I can use for Thanksgiving as well, or fall as well, is this little branchy one. Um, I have, I don't know how many I have, but I just kind of stick those in there as well. There's everything, all the picks put in there. Can you see the the white pit berry and the branchy type situation thing? I'm not sure what it is, <laughs> but I think they're pretty in there. It's a closer view for you so you can see everything. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna add are my ornaments. So I'm gonna do another shout out to um, Gina Loves Christmas. She taught me this too. Um, you don't always have to put small ornaments on your tree. You, the big ornaments really make an impact. And I picked these up from Walmart. They were about $3 a piece. I showed you three in a haul that I picked up um, because I didn't have a lot last year. I got all that they had. Um, but I have a good little collection now. I have enough. I don't need any more. And the other thing that she will, she'll tell you to do is wrap wire through there. Don't hang with the... Uh, ornament hangers wrap wire into your tree and when you're going to wrap this wire around your branches now whenever I buy um, new lights I always save these little twist ties and that's what I'm using here but you can use the same wire that I showed you earlier that wire that I used was all that I had I think you probably should get a thicker wire um, just because when I was wrapping the ribbon I just felt like I didn't have complete control over tightening it. So I think you need a little thicker gauge wire than what I had. And I wish I could tell you what gauge that is, but I, for whatever reason, the top got ripped off and I don't know what size it is or where it came from. Um, but these are a good thickness for me just because I feel like I have control over it with my fingers and I can, I can wrap it as tight as I want. So I'm gonna put these in next. All right, so those are the big size. I also have some medium size ornaments. And let me show you one more thing. I have these two. Um, jingle bells in the background, sorry. These are, the one, I got these from Hobby Lobby. I kept them in the container because they're actually glass. <laughs> so, you know me, I'm gonna break something. And then I have these small ones. These are actually vintage. They're, um, flocked. Um, I don't know what you call them. They're, they're kind of like velvet, which is my favorite. I love velvet anything. <laughs> so we're going to put all of these up red and white. And, um, then I do have a few ornaments. I don't have a ton of ornament ornaments to put on the tree, but we should be finishing up other than the topper. We have to do the topper. Um, we're getting close to finishing this tree.
Okay, so here's what it looks like right now. And I do have a few ornaments that I was gonna try to add because I feel like they add something to them. I've got a small collection of little putts houses here that I've collected over the last few years. Um, I think they probably came from Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe Dollar, no, not Dollar Tree, um, Hobby Lobby. This one here I got this year came from Hobby Lobby. It lights up. So I do have that one this year. And then over here in this little bin, try not to make you dizzy, I have a couple of little snowmen, a couple little galvanized signs, these little round things here. I have a snowman, and then I have this little snowman snow globe thing. I only have three of each or less, so I don't have a ton of ornaments to put up there, but I'm going to add them just to see if it adds anything to it. If it doesn't, if it's too much, I'll just take them down. But I had them up there last year, and they were cute, so... I don't think I could add one more thing to that tree. <laughs> I think that tree is about to bust apart at the seams. But I do need to do two more things to finish it up. It needs a topper and it needs the, the little collar at the bottom. So we're gonna add those two things and then we're gonna finish this tree up. And then in the next video, we're gonna be working on the mantle, which is my favorite, favorite thing in my house. Well, the tree and the mantle together as one whole is my favorite thing to look at. So make sure that you have liked and subscribed so you get my next notification for the next video. But I'm, like I said, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to put out a couple videos a week, but that's, fingers crossed, that's what I'll be able to do, but I can't promise. All right, so I'm gonna climb to the top of this tree and I'm gonna put up these um, picks, Lord willing, and they'll hold and they don't fall down. I have this one that is uh, just some frosted pine cones. And then I have this one that's just a little pine tree sprig with some pine cones at the top. And then just for some color, I have these little red berries. So let's see how that looks. I'm gonna climb up there and hopefully it'll hold. So that's my 2022 Christmas tree, Decorate With Me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was um, 
it gave you some kind of inspiration to get up and start your decorating. I think it's beautiful. I love it. And when this gets done, it's just going to take it to a whole nother level. So I'm excited to get started. I'm getting ready to start right now in my time, but in your time, it'll probably be a couple of days before the next video comes out. So make sure you have I uh, pushed all the buttons that you need to push. You know the spiel. Just, just do what you got to do to be here next time with us while we decorate for Christmas. So until then, I love you all and I'll see you later. Bye. <music>